So energy conservation, we'll do it hopefully quickly so that it, you kind of get the idea. So let's see, what we're talking about is fluid flowing, and we're looking at the energy component of fluid flow. So the energy component of fluid flow, this again is dx and this is dy. So in the x direction, you have some mass that's going across this boundary and the energy of that flow would be captured with the enthalpy. So writing that out, it would be mass is u rho w dy times the enthalpy. So I'm gonna use I for enthalpy just because H is a heat transfer coefficient often. Um, so I for enthalpy, that's at X. Coming out, we have the same thing, right? Plus the differential with respect to X of that thing times DX. So I'm gonna be extra lazy now. But you can just take this thing, plug it in in the brackets over there. So that's our, that's our uh, flow in the X direction. In the Y direction, do something similar. So this is, um, let's see, this is now V times rho W dx times the enthalpy, evaluated at Y. So up here, plus now partial with respect to Y of that thing times dy. Um, what other ways can we have energy uh, occurring or uh, energy related stuff here? Any ideas? Stored, yep, that's the easy one, right, stored. So st stored is gonna be partial with respect to time, W dx dy rho times enthalpy. Right, so how is that all, that whole quantity changing with time? Uh, anything else? Generation. Could have generation, so let's see. What do I use for generation? Let's do green, no, let's do yellow for generation, that's a good color. So generation is um, w times dx times dy times uh, g dot triple prime v. I'm going to put a caveat on this. So in this in this class, um, I might eat my words, but we're not going to look at generation. Okay, in, in flows, that's a problem for a reacting flows class. It'd be, it's its own sort of field of study. So we're going to kind of throw away the idea of generation, but we can't eliminate this term. Because as fluid is shearing over itself, it's generating heat. So this is actually a viscous dissipation term. All right, so we'll not call that generation. We'll sort of separate out the idea of generation. We'll say this is viscous dissipation. Um, we will have to decide whether or not that's important to consider. Okay, anything else, right? This is a heat transfer class, so what else could we have? Okay, laminar flow. I've got a really hot surface down here and a cold fluid up there. So what's gonna happen? Conduction. So we have to think about conduction as well. Um, so conduction would be uh, drawing it down here. Uh, using Fourier's law, that would be minus K times W dx, that's my area available in Y, partial T with respect to Y, evaluate at Y. Up here is the same thing, partial Y times that times dy. And same thing, and you can have you can have conduction in X as well. So we would have um, minus K W dy partial t with respect to x, um, evaluated at x, and over here. All right. Let me just make sure we have everything here. So conduction, stored, dissipation, good. I think that's it. Um, what we're gonna do now is say, this is again an incompressible problem, or inc incompressible flow. So knowing that, I can say I is equal to specific heat times temperature. Any place I see enthalpy, I can replace it with specific heat times temperature. And then if I have that, I can write this out, um, simplifying out the terms that, that cancel as the following. So it would be K times 
partial squared t in the x direction plus partial squared t in the y direction <coughs> plus the generation term g dot triple prime v is equal to rho c times the quantity u partial t with respect to x plus v partial t with respect to y plus the storage term partial t with respect to time. Um, and then I have to note that there's an expression for g dot triple prime v <coughs> that we can just write out here. And it is, you know, I need room. So it'll be uh, g dot triple prime v is equal to uh, mu times partial u with respect to y plus partial v with respect to x, that quantity squared, plus 2 mu times, um, the, let's see, this quantity here, which is partial u with respect to x, that partial squared, plus partial v, eh, partial v, with respect to y, that partial squared, end of quantity. Okay. Sorry, it's a little bit messy, but what we're saying here is I can compute the energy generation using this expression, or this PDE, if I need to. Let's hope, as we go through this, that this becomes unimportant, right? Um, and for most flows, it, it will be, right, as a spoiler, not to ruin next time. But um, Okay, so this is now our energy balance. We've gone through the, the conservation for all these three things. Next, what we're going to need to do is find ways to throw away terms we don't want.